All right, uh, here we go. Uh, thanks for coming back. I appreciate your time, guys. So here is the rest of what I got in. Uh, let's go. Uh, next up is, I'm um, really glad I took a chance on this one. This was awesome. So, um, Incident in a Ghost Land. So, uh, fan of the his first movie. I think that was his first one, Martyrs. So, uh, and I have yet to see the other one. <clears throat> but this one was really good. I, Like I said, I'm glad I took a chance on this one. So awesome. Um, I will definitely want to upgrade this if it ever hits. Um, if it ever hits Blu-ray. I'm not sure why this one didn't. This is really good. Um, so that's that. Um, I'm blind by In Memory Of. A uh, latest one from Eric St Stanzi. I can't ever say his last name right. But uh, I've liked a few of the movies that I've seen him make. I've, I've, uh, I've liked. So... So this looks pretty cool. So in memory of <clears throat> uh, upgrade. Um, as far as special features and everything, a uh, big uh, step compared to the older uh, D. Uh, well, excuse me, Blu-ray from Warner Brothers. Um, in the Mouth of Madness. This is a really cool movie. Um, one that I actually I'm guilty of not watching enough. I've only seen this a handful of times. So I definitely need to revisit this movie. It is a good one. I've, I have always liked it. So um, John Carpenter's In the Mouth of Madness. And then I simply got this. If I'm to be honest, I just got this because it comes in a really cool green keep case. And I do like his other movie, which uh, the name escapes me. Um, gosh dang it. What was his other movie that he did? Uh, director Andrew. Tr I can't say his last name. Um, this came out several years back, but The Jungle, um, ah, yes, that there it is, it's right on the cover, uh, duh, Thomas. Um, the Reef, big fan of that movie, and as well as Blackwater, um, but yeah, uh, I've not really heard so many good things about this particular movie, but again, comes in a really cool green key case, I like creature feature movies, hopefully I get a glimpse of the creature uh, every throughout this movie, I don't know. Um, but it takes place in a jungle, and, uh, I just, I no longer could resist. Um, I had to go ahead and give me a copy, and I got it pretty cheap, so. There's the jungle. I definitely dig in white. Um, that's unique that it comes in a green keep case, but I need to stop saying that. Anyway, there's that. Uh, finally getting a hold of this awesome, uh, movie I've seen for the first time, Lady Terminator. I don't know what took me so long to take the plunge but I'm glad I did and I'm very grateful that it isn't one of those uh, Mondo Macabro DVDs that are like so many are long out of print uh, this one has um, always been available on their website and that's where I got this one from for a very good price so um, it'll probably uh, make the leap on the blu-ray eventually um, I just I'm glad I, I ha finally have a copy of this this movie is a ton of fun and I do love the special effects in this movie and I just love any sort of Terminator ripoff, sci-fi horror type action uh, sort of movie. So glad to finally add Lady Terminator into the collection. So I don't know why I've just been ignoring that one for so long, um, but foolish me. Uh, this is ridiculous. This is extremely nice um, addition here, and of course. Arrow just goes all out with the fat uh, additions. This is collector's wet dream for sure. So The Last House on the Left, the original. Uh, one of those movies I always have to just keep rebuying and rebuying. And it does have its sort of sh shocking moments and stuff. And It's one of those movies I can't watch that often uh, just with the whole rape aspect of it. But uh, it's one of those cult classics you just have to have so and this is a beautiful addition I can't stop saying that but anyway uh, last house on the left uh, another no-brainer <clears throat> and then I'm finally gonna give this a shot uh, just um, the remake here um, it probably is really good I've just never got around to I just never cared to see it really I never I think this came out of time where it just it was just remake after remake, so. Um, but I've heard a lot of good things over the years. I really haven't heard so many terrible 
things about this and the the new version here but um yeah last on the last house on the left uh, remake here and then the lodgers heard nothing but good things about this movie so i finally went ordered me a copy i had no idea this was out there um until a friend had told me about this movie and uh let me know that it was on blu-ray so that's cool so looking forward to checking this out the lodgers uh, love me deadly um upgrade uh, thanks to code red so cool um just flew over my radar uh, just digging around on amazon and i just come across this when i was looking at uh, some more jolly to add to the collection um so mad in italy it looks it looks to be intriguing and uh, of course it's inspired by true events we'll see i'm not sure how that how much of that is with this movie but uh, yeah looks pretty cool so mad in italy and then midnighters uh, looks to be a fun one have yet to get around to watching this one so be cute hopefully and this looks like a lot of fun uh, as far as practical effects um, not expecting much but i couldn't resist anymore i love the title of this movie and the yeah the trailer just looked to be bonkers and just uh just some good cop, uh, popcorn. Uh, I don't want to say like a cop, um, sort of a cop horror, but that's not it. I was thinking about another movie, but anyway, it just looks like some good uh, popcorn act, popcorn fun. So, Mortuary Massacre uh, from Wild Eye. And then finally, going after this movie, um, never seen it before. I know it's one of those all-time classics that you just have to see before you die. So. I'm going to do that, um, The Night of the Hunter. So cool. I Just one of those movies I've been uh, interested in for way too long. So it's about time I got around to viewing this uh, classic. So Night of the Hunter. I it's very creepy. One of those creepy older 50s movies. Those older thriller, thrillers. And then Piranha 2, The Spawning. Uh, man, I haven't watched this movie in forever. I do like it. Uh, it's just been too long since I've watched this movie. I probably only watched the DVD like one time since I've had that for years. I'm trying to... Oh, well, I'm working with one hand. It's kind of tough to... I, it's really on there really good. But anyway, I do like the reverse art. It was tough choosing which one to use, but I'm just going to go with this one. This one is just a ton of fun right there. Um, I hear that's not his proudest movie, uh, James Cameron. It's crazy how, how this is, that this is a James Cameron uh, movie. But anyway, Piranha 2, The Spawning. Uh, cool to see this finally get a uh, Blu-ray release. I think they they had a little bit of trouble getting this one out there, but it all worked out, so that's awesome. And this was a lot of fun. I like the way the beast looked in this one. Uh, pretty wild looking, so pretty cool Bigfoot movie. I did enjoy this one. Um, quite a few stinkers lately, um, but uh, glad I... Finally took a chance on a, uh, another one here, and then I, I, I finally liked it. So Primal Rage, Bigfoot Reborn. Uh, a Quiet Place, I just loved it. I thought it was great. I love the creature designs, and um, just one of those movies that definitely keeps you on the edge of your seat for sure. So A Quiet Place. And then this was a lot of fun. I loved this movie, and I thought the special effects were just awesome with this movie. Uh, with a budget like it, it should be. So, And, uh, yeah, just a big uh, monster movie. Just a lot of fun. And uh, the quote is true. I just, uh, it was enjoyable. Um, fun for the whole family, pretty much. So Rampage, I uh, just love, especially this beast right here. It's just a lot of good um, scenes. Uh, so, yeah, pretty cool. I love Rampage. Beyond Reanimator, the third uh, entry. I need to revisit this one. It's been way too long, but I like all the Reanimator movies, so good stuff. Finally complete the trilogy here on Blu-ray, so that's cool. I want another Reanimator, though. It's been way too long. I want another sequel. I think that'd be great. So it's that. And then this looks like a lot of fun. I just got this in not, not too long ago, uh, a couple weeks ago. And um, the trailer reeled me in with the 
practical effects and stuff. It just looks like another one of those Evil Dead inspired type horror films. It just looks like a lot of fun and uh, kind of knows what it is kind of movie. So, The Slaughter. And then Stabbed in the Face. I couldn't resist. So it's called Stabbed in the Face. Um, I doubt that on the cover is what actually happens in the movie. But uh, I was just in the mood to grab a bunch of cheap horror. And it always makes me feel good to do that. So, so I've been collecting these uh, sort of raw, the raw series from uh, Wild Eye. So Stabbed in the Face. Love the title. Uh, Streets of Vengeance. This looks pretty cool. So, uh, can't wait to check that out. Um, so, I haven't, uh, feels good to get a new, uh, a new one from, uh, Slasher Video. It's been, it's been way too long, so that's awesome that, uh, Slasher Video is still around and doing what they do. So, cool. And then this is, this is bonkers. Um, pretty cool so it comes with blu-ray dvd soundtrack seven inch uh etched vinyl record so uh one of uh lemmy i can't ever say his last name kill kills mr uh motorhead singer of motorhead uh one of his uh i guess last movies that he did before he passed away a couple years back and this is finally getting released or at least a, a more of a a wider release. I think this has had. I think this movie's been released before, but this is pretty crazy. Um, pretty cool addition. I have yet to watch the movie, but it's a vampire movie. It's got uh, got some Motorhead goodness in it. I couldn't resist. And this edition is that's really cool. And it's a first for me to actually come with like a, a soundtrack, a record with it. So, and the green. I'm doing this with one hand, guys. So patience with me is really cool looking so that's pretty neat um if the movie turns out to kind of suck at least it's <laughs> i still think it's worth it because this is pretty cool so i hope i think i'm going to have a lot of fun with it um yeah it looks like a lot of fun so sunset uh society and a really cool documentary on uh kane hodder so uh this looks to be Pretty cool. I like old Kane Hodder for sure. Uh, pretty badass. Badass when it comes to playing the Jason for sure. Uh, so to hell and back, the Kane Hodder story. Uh, out of the blue, totally out of the left field. I was not. Um, just saw it pop on pop up on Amazon one day. Never even heard about this. So this was a nice surprise. So pretty cool. And then uh, never had this in my collection before. This is the first time for me. Uh, I have watched the movie. I watched it on YouTube a couple years back and really dug it. I just kept putting it on the back burner as far as having a physical copy. So, Tromeo and Juliet. Uh, Troma Classic. Finally adding this into my collection. I just, I just never got around to buying this movie. Until now. And then part five in the Truth or Dare. Um legacy so pretty cool i dared you truth or dare part five so pretty cool i've got uh i've got all of them now so i'm i guess i'm committed to getting all the truth or dare movies so pretty cool i think i'm gonna have fun with these i've had fun with all of them really except for the the third one is like the weakest one for me um but they're all they are they are what they are they're a lot of fun so I, I have fun with these movies and the first one is always a is always just a super cult indie classic for sure so truth or dare part five and then truth or dare yes i know what i'm in for i just couldn't help myself i had to go for this um i'm pretty sure you're gonna like it i'm i'm pretty laid back these days so it just looks like i, I like i like these type of stories so so there's that, and I'm a, I'm a fan of uh, Get Out. So, but that's just from the producer. Um, double dipping on Blu-ray already, and this is the Unseen. I, I am going to keep my older Blu-ray edition just for collector purposes, or should I say hoarder purposes? <laughs> but I, I like the new uh, commission artwork for this, and this is a great movie. I like the way the um, I don't want to do any spoilers, but this guy here, uh, I won't say where he pops up in the movie, but pretty creepy movie definitely dug it and uh one of my favorites 
And then uh, some classics, Village of the Damned, the original. Pretty cool. Love the disc art to this. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to be sort of boring like they usually are, but pretty cool. I love that image. And uh, one of my favorite, as far as black and whites, is definitely one of my favorite movies. So, And I do, yes, I do like the 90s remake as well. Um, but Village of the Dam, cool. And then the sequel to Wolf Cop, Wolf Cop Part 2, another Wolf Cop. So, I, I like the first one. I'm, I'm a fan of the first one. I had a lot of fun watching the first one. And uh, I need to watch this one. Maybe, hopefully, I can maybe watch this tonight. Or at least sometime this week. If not by the weekend. So... That's the horror movie collection update from you guys. And uh, as always, thanks for stopping by. And uh, take it easy. Keep collecting. Uh, later.